there's a spirit out there right now called COVID. And at some point, our reserve may have to go on lockdown. And the buffalo were purchased to help us spiritually and also to provide food for our community. We couldn't just bring them here and drop them off. In our Soto uh, culture, in our Soto nation, is there's protocols we have to follow with the direction of our elders. And one of them was honoring this beautiful animal to come back here uh, through ceremony. Through, and we, we, we now have these beautiful animals here and they're here to provide us strength uh, uh, and also to, to, to help the people here in our community, um, whether it be, uh, um, you know, just to come to see the animals, to come and talk about them, to come and, and at some point uh, we will, uh, we will we'll be part of slaughter should we need uh, the, the, the need arise to, to, feed, uh, to feed our community. It's a way to sustain in case we can't leave the reserve because of COVID reasons. Um, we are in talks of locking down our First Nation and I wanted a way to be able to feed our people in case that happens. I didn't want them to have to worry about how are we going to get food, how are we going to get groceries. This is just actually a first of a couple of our projects that us as leadership are working towards for our community. We're also going to be um, um, getting a, um, cattle and bringing that to our community as well. So there's an option of cattle and bison. Um, these 15 were brought in just for slaughter, but they we're working on a second phase where the rancher is actually going to work with us and bring uh, ca pregnant calves to our First Nation for a, a bigger area of land on our First Nation and have a four-year project. And we'll look after those buffalo for those four years. And at, at the end of it, he'll be donating some, some buffalo to our First Nation. These animals do not belong to one person. They do not belong to one family. These animals, these bison, these beautiful animals belong to the whole community. So uh, it's their, their buffalo. And we're just the caretakers of this, uh, of this herd here and to make sure that they're, they're well looked after and well fed and, uh, and to, to be there for us, to be there for our youth to come and see, you know, uh, what are these animals, you know, uh, what did they bring? Maybe it's a chance for them to, to go back and, 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 and ask about our traditions out here.